All right, well, I guess while we're waiting here, we can go ahead and look at the deck lists real quick. First up, we have Bill Jr. playing Phoenix this time. Um, looks like he is on the new stronghold. Hmm. Ooh. Pretty interesting deck here, actually. So, one Secluded Shrine. That's a card that you don't see too often. Uh, that's going to turn on Solemn Scholar and Prodigy of the Waves. And Henshin Disciple, it helps with him as well. Seems good. Uh, Mantis Ten Kinja is an interesting card. Makes your events cheaper to play, but costs you honor. And he does have plenty of events, as this is a Phoenix, Phoenix spell deck. <clears throat> Dragon Splash for Let Go, Hurricane Punch, and a couple of Tattooed Wanderers here. Um, ooh, one Karmic Twist. That's interesting, actually. It's a card, you, and two Benton's Touch as well. Yeah, so definitely some interesting card choices in that deck there. Uh, let's see about the crane deck. So Magistrate Station is their new province. Um, it's pretty good if you can get that to flip and then not let it break. And just get a lot of free readies out of that. Uh, Micah also is known for running the Art of Peace. Personally, I still think it's not good. I don't think I've ever seen it have a really big effect. But he does still run it. Um, let's see. Three Kaizen is interesting. Pretty standard otherwise, it looks like. One Menacing Iron Warrior. Um, actually, I think this card is okay. Uh, the ability is not particularly good, but the fact that it's a conflict character and it has three military, which is something that Crane kind of lacks, makes it pretty okay to just run one of those. Uh, probably wouldn't want more than one though. Uh, policy debate is his restricted card. We're gonna see Scorpion Splash, one Fate Worse Than Death, two Calling in Favors, two Mark of Shame. Interesting. So the Calling in Favor is not gonna be too helpful in this matchup since Phoenix doesn't run a whole lot of attachments. Uh, he might be able to use that to get rid of a Cloud the Mind on one of his important characters, though. That's always good. And we're coming up on the starting time here, so hopefully we won't have to wait too much longer.
All right. There he is. Should be ready to get started here. Maybe. Okay. Looks like we're starting. So Micah is going to be going second here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. No holdings on either side. Uh, Phoenix finds Tadaka. Not really what you want to see this early in the game. Uh, but he does have a bunch of low-cost guys, so that's good. going to play a Scholar with one Fate, and there's a Brash Samurai. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see a lot of low-cost guys bought on either side here. I think maybe play Adept and then pass. Oh no, he just passes. Wow. So that is going to deny the passing fate from Micah. Um, I do want to point out, ooh, wow, we see him by three characters here. Uh, Micah is running one assassination in the deck, whereas Bill Jr. is running zero, I believe. Oh, whoops, I hit back. Um... Ooh, there is... There is a Shrine Maiden. Uh, gonna find... Oh, wow. <laughs> Finds a Supernatural Storm, but discards the other two Shrine Maidens. And, ooh, he's gonna hit Magistrate Station. That is very unfortunate. Uh, we see the Brash Samurai defend. So the Brash Samurai can honor himself here and then stand up after the conflict. So this is really good for Micah. Um... It is the Earth Ring. We'll see if Bill Jr. Okay, he has a Hurricane Punch. So I expect that there is another card here. Uh, Supernatural Storm. Okay, that works. So we'll see if Micah has anything. You definitely. Okay, fine, Katana. Good. Uh, you definitely don't want to let. Ooh, another Hurricane Punch. You don't want to let Bill Jr. have this Earth Ring if you can avoid it. Uh, that is going to bow somebody on the attack unless you have an Assassinate for the Solemn Scholar. We actually see a Bonsai. Do you go Big Bonsai or Small Bonsai? He is going Big Bonsai. 
Uh, that beats the third hurricane punch. It also beats Tattooed Wanderer, I guess. And now that you've gotten him to commit a lot of cards, maybe you just pass here. Um, I'm not sure what else he could have unless he has his own bonsai. The nice thing about the hurricane punches is that they replace themselves, so they're essentially free. They don't even cost a card to play. So yeah, Micah is going to win that conflict, and he is going to now be able to unbow the Brash Samurai. So things are not looking too good for Bill Jr. He does have um, a big fate lead here. Uh, we're seeing a Void Attack from Crane. I think that's fine. Uh, we'll see what province he finds here. Upholding Authority, okay. Uh, so this is actually good because you've already, yeah, no defense, we've already seen him commit two military buffs, so it's likely, it's, it's fairly likely that he doesn't have um, enough to break this. Ooh, he has another bonsai, unlucky, for Bill Jr., so he is actually going to get the break here. Okay, but there's a Cloud the Mind. Uh, that's good as well, so Upholding Authority's ability will be able to be used now. Uh, Shane Ruman says, with the station, not sure if it's worth poking. Yeah, um... Ooh, he's going to play an Ornate Fan, doesn't want that to get discarded. Had two in hand. Uh, he is going to get hit with discards on two copies of Court Games. Wow. Um, so that's actually a pretty big hit there. It brings Micah all the way down to three cards. And yeah, I I kind of agree. Um, I think poking against Crane is just not going to be good now because of Magistrate Station. Like, I mean, it's not it's not fate worse than death, but... It is kind of similar to Fate Worse Than Death, I think, in that it has the ability to really swing a game um, if it gets flipped face up. Like, you can keep attacking it for free, which is nice, but as long as it stays there, it's going to be really annoying to deal with. So, we're seeing Crane go in for a second attack here. This is going to be Fire. And finds Shameful Display. Uh, that's pretty good for Bill Jr. Can dishonor this Brash Samurai here. Ooh, and he has Clarity of Purpose. Um, wait, why does he... That seems a little bit strange. He's already passed both of his conflicts. I guess if you can somehow win this... You tie favor. Uh, it prevents the admit defeat, but there is zero fate for Micah, so doesn't actually have to worry about that. Gonna play Supernatural Storm. Hmm. He knows Micah's hand here. He knows it's an ornate fan. Um, what else was in there? Calling in favors. So calling in favors and Stuart are both dead. He has no fate to play them. Uh, so just the ornate fan, and he is going to play that. So we have to expect that Bill has another buff here. No, he is just going to pass, though. Wow. And that means the firing will go off and Shameful Display will break. I guess he just wanted Micah to spend more cards there. Um, I still have to disagree with the Clarity of Purpose, though. I think that was a mistake.
So we see Bill up uh, three fate, three cards, and one honor, but very down on board. So let's see what he can do on the second turn here. If he can uh, make it through this turn, the crane board will be leaving. However, there is now a Yoshi that could get played here, and he does get played with two fate. Crane has that favor. Um, we see another Solemn Scholar come out. Crane will pass, yep. And then we'll see what Phoenix plays. Plays Kudaka, seems good. Um, I expect they'll both bid five, so if you have like an against the waves here as Phoenix, you can get this Kudaka into a bunch of different conflicts. Yeah, so uh, welcome Shudarev. Uh, Micah is definitely in a good spot here. He had a really good turn one, flip, got Magistrate Station flipped up. Um, Bill Jr. is a little bit ahead on Cards and Fate, so we'll see what he can do here. We're going to see this Brash Samurai attack going military, finds Manicured Garden. Uh, Bill is already down two breaks, which is pretty dangerous. And like I said, he does not have Assassinate in the deck. Uh, there is a Banzai. He would really like to win this conflict because it is Earth, so that will let him trigger Kudaka. Ooh, there's the Admit Defeat. Uh, does he have an Against the Waves? Actually, no. Shrine Maiden pulled Supernatural Storm. So yeah, he needs to have the Against the Waves here. Yeah, so the last face down province for... Ooh, we see a pass. That is very unfortunate. It looks like he did not draw any of his Against the Waves. And Micah drew his one times in mint defeat. That's like really, really unlucky. Um, yeah, so the last face down province here is Meditations. And you don't even have to worry about that now. You can just go at Rally. I think we might actually just see Crane win this turn. Um, he still has a political attack left, however, yeah, so you can unbow Brash Samurai. What ring is this? Water? Uh, so we see Bill play another Bonsai. If he can't break this, you probably just pass. Yeah, so that is going to ready Kudaka. Um, I think we'll see the Magistrate Station unbow the Brash Samurai, and then he'll go in for an all-in political. Uh, let's see, if it gets flipped, then you have 6, 7, 8. 8 to 3. So, winning by 5. You'd need, you'd need like one more skill, I think. Um, Oh, he doesn't unbow the samurai, though. Interesting. So it looks like he is just going to go in with Yoshi here. Um, Rally to the cause will switch that to military. Yeah, so Soul Beyond Reproach is a pretty good counter to Shameful Display, as Shurev points out. Um... Yoshi's going to go ahead and trigger his ability there. 
I feel like you should have just gone all in. Um, I don't know, maybe not. This way is potentially a bit safer. Yeah, it is possible that Micah forgot to use the Magistrate Station. Yeah, so it would have been political with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, actually, because Samurai is honored. Uh, there's a Tattooed Wanderer. So, what just happened? Ooh, Noble Sacrifice. Killing the Kudaka, that's really strong. So now, even if Phoenix makes it through this turn, he just has a small board against this Yoshi here. Uh, he can still favorable ground in Brash, that is true. So favorable ground in and unbow, then you're at um, 8 skill to 2, so you're winning by 6. So yeah, that's enough to break, and we do see him ready the Brash Samurai, uh, to 3 rather. And yeah, that is enough to break. Bill Jr. is going to replay the Supernatural Storm. So Micah needs literally any skill here. He could have a Way of the Crane, a Soul Beyond Reproach, a Fine Katana. There is the Soul Beyond Reproach. And I think he just wins here unless, like, Okay, there's another Tattooed Wanderer. That's still not enough. Uh, Bill will need... Okay, let go. Is that enough? Ooh, that is enough. He's only winning by three now. So Micah needs another buff here. Um, I think it's mm, probably fine if he just wins but doesn't break. You still have Yoshi next turn, and he's honored. And we see a pass. So yeah, uh, Bill will make it through this turn alive. But in a pretty bad spot. Uh, Micah is going to keep the favor. Firing. I think you just dishonor the Scholar. Yeah, dishonor the Scholar. And yeah, we could see, like, the political rival next turn to just... I mean, like, even if he doesn't have the rival, like, Yoshi by himself can probably just break on political. Unless, um... Phoenix gets a big character here. Crane has already used his only admit defeat. Um... Hmm... So Palace, one turn late, it looks like. Uh, he does see a Keeper Initiate. So I like the potential Water Poke here. Maybe you play the Prodigy as well. Yeah, I think you have to play the Prodigy also. Uh, we see Hotaru, two fate. Oh, no, Bill's going to pass. Interesting. I wonder what he has in his hand. Like, this political attack is just really painful, right? Like, I don't th I don't think he can survive that. Um, and then even if he does, there's the Magistrate Station to unbow Yoshi. We see Ethereal Dreamer used on the Void Ring, and he's going to go for the Earth attack here. Uh, so this could potentially save him if he wins the Earth Ring and breaks Magistrate Station. Let's see if he can manage it. Ooh, we see Hotaru defending, actually. Wow. Um, double tattoo. There is no Hawk tattoo in either deck. Yeah, you don't attack water, that's for sure. Um, we see the third hurricane punch there. 
So Yoshi defending, interesting. If Bill Jr. wins this, okay, there's a fine katana. There's a let go. Was that the second or the third? That was the second fine katana. Could Voice of Honor this if he has it? Haven't seen one of those yet. Yep, there's the Voice of Honor. And that is, that's the second let go. Ooh, he does have the third one. Is there another Voice of Honor? Uh, looks like he's already used Yoshi. Yes, there is another voice. Wow. So Bill still needs another card here. And he's calling GG. Yeah. So if Bill didn't win that attack, then he was just going to lose the game. Um... If he wins that attack, he turns on the Solemn Scholar, and he can bow whoever attacks, or at least one of them, uh, when they attack the Stronghold. So it would just be Hotaru against... Even then, uh, it might still break. But, yeah. Yeah, Micah just uh, getting all the cards he needed pretty much, and the Phoenix deck not quite showing up here. But yeah, that means that Daidoji Micah will move on to the top 16. He will play against either a dragon or another Phoenix. Have to wait and see what happens in that game. Man, it seems like there are a lot of Phoenix this season. Maybe just at the top of the bracket. But yeah, pretty short game there. Um, yeah, I think the, the Magistrate Station just makes it so you kind of can't really poke Crane anymore at the start of the game. Um, like, turning that on, on for them is just really strong. So, I would expect to see people waiting to attack until they have enough to break the Magistrate Station if they find it. Because um, if you hit that, it's bad. If you hit Shameful, it's bad. And then if you hit one of their air provinces, they're getting more resources. So, yeah, definitely have to be a little bit more careful when you're attacking Crane now. Yeah, yeah, the game is already over. Um, went by pretty fast. We made it to turn three. But yeah, I think even, even if Bill wins this conflict, um, like, I think he's still just going to lose the game. It was just like way, way too much on Crane's side. He could, he didn't have nearly enough to deal with all of it. Yeah, Crane has a pretty strong row now. I definitely agree with that. Um... Still not really sold on the Art of Peace. Like, I've casted quite a few Micah games, but I don't think I've ever actually seen the Art of Peace do a whole lot. Uh, there's got to be some reason that he likes it so much, though, because he keeps running it. I'm not really, not really sure about that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this game. Um, again, short game, but still, still pretty good. 
So thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, Mike is still one of the few left on Art of Peace. I know he's he's always liked that province. Like, it seems like he's always the only crane player playing that, and I'm just not really sure why. Again, there must be some reason for it, because um, he's a really good player, but I don't really know myself. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.